Okay, welcome back. You're excited because you've got two animated rolling dice, and it's beautiful. What we need to do is actually make this a game now and give it some rules because, well, we don't have any rules. It just rolls dice, and that's a pretty boring game. So, first of all, let's click on whatever that alien dude is. Let's click on, his, on him. Let's go to his brain. I'm going to roll over to the right until I find this green flag being clicked, right? And what I want is, this is kind of simple, but let's say... Let's say, why will that not connect? Let's say that we want um, to put the rules right there. So I'll let you make some rules. Um, what, what do you want your game to be about? I'm going to say um, that you roll until you get doubles. And that's how you win, or that's how you get done, is you get doubles. You could say, if you want, roll until you get a sum of 12, roll until you get a sum of, of um, 5. You could say, roll until you get a sum bigger than 7, get a sum bigger than 8. You could do something like that. So it could be doubles, it could be getting a certain sum, or getting a bigger or smaller sum. So I'm going to let you um, create your own rule for this game, and make it awesome. So. But that's just me saying what, what the rule is. But basically what we want is that when you click him, the dice will roll over and over and over and over, and then eventually they will stop and the game is over. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. Your best friend will be, if you want to do something over and over and over again, you're looking at these loops, but what I want, I don't want to play forever. I don't know how many, if I say you would roll until you get doubles, I can't use this because I don't know how, if you're going to do it in 10 times or 12 times or 13 times, I don't know how many times it would take you. And it's not going to take you forever. What you're going to do, your best friend, will be this thing. Um, you want to keep repeating the dice rolls until something happens to you. The thing that's going to happen to you is whatever you say in your rules, right? Now, FYI, in your like to fill in this block here, in your green operators, you've got, take a look at the shape, right? That little shape. You're gonna, one of these could help you out. You, eh, you probably don't need these, but that says something is less than something, something is equal to something, something is greater than something. So it depends on what rules you said um, to get that together. If you're dealing with a sum, now this is kind of crazy, if you're dealing with a sum, you probably will have to add some things together and then after you've added them see if that sum was equal ooh, to something else right or you could see if that sum was smaller smaller than something right but you can well I'm, you can put these things together anyway now that's great that you want to repeat stuff until something happens but what is it that you want to repeat well let's go take a look this is going to be your best friend, um, and you're going to put that, when the sprite is clicked, you want basically the dice rolling to happen over and over and over again, right? So think about this. This is just costume. That doesn't matter. This right here says roll the first die, roll the second die, and that animates it, right? So roll, roll the two dice, animate it. Roll the two dice, animate it. So you're going to put this around the right spot. Um, make the right sandwich to make it animate, to make it roll over and over and over again. Now, I'm going to interrupt you a little bit. That's your best friend. Um, I, let me help you get things set up a little bit, and this is a little weird, but we have to get some stuff set up before we can get going. So what I want you to do is hit your data. Do this with me. And this is kind of cheap, but that's all right. I want to grab... Um, Let's set num1 to be a 1, and let's set num2 to be a 6, and that just, I know that's weird, but that's just some setup. That's just to help you get set up, get your, ooh, get your variables set up um, before things get started. So that's all that is. That comment is really annoying. I'm going to delete it. Now, so what I'm going to tell you is hmm, these three things. That's just putting something in the cup to get ready. That's getting him to smile at you. And then none of this should repeat. The stuff that's repeating is rolling, rolling, 
rolling, rolling, rolling, right? Setting the numbers, animating it. So you want to repeat until uh, you get whatever your win condition is. Awesome. So um, let me show you what that should look like for your game. Actually, I forgot to tell you. I forgot to tell you something very important. Muy importante. You want a little weight block because after, before you go roll the dice again, like when you're doing your repetition, before you roll the dice again, you want to make sure that they have time to see those dice before you repeat the rolling. Otherwise, it's just going to zoom through it and they can't tell. So once you've rolled the dice, you want to wait a little bit before you do the repetition. Awesome. So now let me show you what you should have by the end of this video. Okay, so what you should have is when I run the game, he says, click me to play a game. And now when I click him, that's going to cause some rolling to happen repeatedly. You ready? So I clicked him once. I got a one and a three, two and then a six, six and a six. Oh, and look, you want to put a little say block to let them know they won. Now, how did they win my game? They got doubles. So I kept repeat. I kept repeating the rolling, repeat, roll, 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 and a little wait so you, they can see it until they landed on doubles. So think about what those numbers look like when you land on doubles. Now, yours might not be doubles. I don't know what your rule is, right? How you're designing your game. But when I click him, oh, he still says you won. Sorry. When I click him, I'm going to start the game again. Give me the rules. When I click him, there's repeated rolling. Five and one, four and one, didn't win yet, didn't win yet, four and two, six and six, I won. Awesome. So you're going to use that repeat until block. You're going to keep repeating until you win, and then you're going to tell them that they win. When you get that done, when your game looks like this, right, then you are ready to move on to the last video.